Three players to consider stashing in fantasy basketball. So first on my list is Tari Eason. Eason under the radar had a really good rookie year. He's only the third rookie ever to come off the bench and have more than 80 steals and more than 40 blocks putting him in company with James Worthy and Scottie Pippen. So he definitely has a strong defensive mindset. He was also able to play in all 82 games and play a little bit more than 21 minutes per game. And as the season went on and his minutes increased, so did his production. He ended up finishing the year averaging around 9 points, grabbing 6 rebounds, getting 1.2 steals, and a little bit more than half a block. And he also made about one three-pointer per game. So he's really going to help you everywhere. Right now, he's missing time due to a stress injury in his lower left leg. And he's out for about two to three weeks. But if you have an IL spot, I would definitely grab him now if you can. Once he comes back, he should have an immediate role. Even if he comes off the bench and backs up Jabari Smith, he's going to get a lot of minutes. This guy showed out in Summer League this year. He had about 23 points per game, nine and a half rebounds, four assists, and three blocks. He's only rostered in about 35% of leagues, so if you're in need of a big that can make threes, grab rebounds, get steals and blocks, and have pretty good shooting percentages, he is definitely someone to keep on your radar. Next up, Santi Aldama. Aldama's rostered in about 18% of leagues, and if you're looking for a big that has some pretty good upside, he's someone to consider. With the Grizzlies losing Steven Adams to a knee injury for the rest of the year, and them not having a timetable for Brandon Clark to return from his Achilles injury, they're going to need all the help they can get in the front court. And Aldama has a great chance to earn a lot of minutes once he can get over his right ankle sprain. It's been lingering at this point, so he hasn't been able to suit up, but he's very close. Aldama's entering his third year, and we saw a big jump in terms of statistical production from year one to two. In about 22 minutes per game last year, he had around nine points, five rebounds, 1.2 stocks, and also had more than one three-pointer per game. So if you're looking for a big that can shoot, He's definitely someone to keep on your radar as well. Lastly, Caleb Martin, last year's NBA playoff sweetheart. This guy almost won the Eastern Conference Player MVP last year. He disappeared in the finals, but he looked really good against the Bucks and really good against the Celtics. I think he'll be closer to that version of himself than the finals version of himself as the season goes on. Last year, he enjoyed career highs in numerous categories. In around 29 minutes per game last year, he had around 9 points, about 5 rebounds, a little bit more than one assist, and nearly half a block. He was able to suit up for the first game of the season, but has been out since with left knee tendinopathy. And I think he's going to be back pretty soon. And let's not forget that Jimmy Butler has not played more than 60 games, but two times in the last six years. So Martin should get a lot of spot starts this year. Also, Max Drews is now in Cleveland, so there are even more small forward minutes to be soaked up. Martin just signed a three-year extension in 2022, so if you're looking for a shooting guard slash small forward that should get around 25 to 30 minutes a night, he's definitely someone to give a look at as well. These are three players to consider stashing. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and let me know your thoughts on who we should consider stashing in the comments below.